You know, if you always found Al Franken a little creepy, eh, we now have confirmation. Yesterday around this time, Los Angeles Radio News anchor Leanne Tweeden accused Al Franken of forcibly kissing her in 2006 when they were in Afghanistan as part of a USO tour. The kissing part of the story sounds, you know, pretty juvenile on Franken's part. Doesn't appear to be the worst part of what Franken did, however. On the flight home, someone, uh, Franken said, take a picture of me. And uh, they took a photo of Franken either groping or looking like he was about to grope uh, her chest while she was sleeping. She was humiliated before the picture. When she got home, she was even more humiliated. The incident happened two years before the citizens of Minnesota elected Franken, the guy who played Stuart Smalley on Saturday Night Live, which I never really understood as funny, but maybe it was just Not me. in the traditional sense. Yeah. Or, or the non-traditional sense. Yes. Yeah. Or in any sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, just like Roy Moore's you know, handwriting in the yearbook, we're probably going to have you know days of photo analysis trying to figure out whether you know Franken is actually touching her or not. I don't know. It's tasteless. It's disrespectful, and it's creepy. Franken apologized, saying he realizes the photo's not funny now, which actually means he thought it was funny until he got caught. And as for the forced kiss, Tweeden says Franken wrote a script for the two where they had to kiss. She says he wanted to rehearse the kiss backstage, but uh, he forced um, a very vigorous French kiss. She said she immediately shoved him away with both hands, ran to the bathroom to wash his taste out of her mouth. Franken says he doesn't remember the rehearsal skit going quite the same way. Who could have seen that one coming? In Franken's apology, he says he respects women, blah, 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 and asks for a Senate uh, Senate ethics investigation on himself. This really isn't as noble as it sounds. Oh, my gosh, he's coming out and saying, yeah, yeah, let let me explain something. A Senate ethics investigation is what you order when you don't want someone to get into trouble because literally nothing ever comes out of those. So don't even bother with the paperwork on the ethics investigation We have photographic evidence of Al's ethics and Al's respect for women. Now, Al Franken is a professional comedian only because professional is defined as something you do that you get paid for. But a guy like that doesn't get elected senator and and suddenly become Ward Cleaver. The only surprise here is that it took nine years for something like this to come out about Al Franken. Someone tweeting at World of Stew here. Can you remind Glenn to tell his brush with fame story of being in line with Al Franken at an airport trying to rebook for a canceled flight? Oh, my gosh. Do you remember the story? Yes, I do. It was Iowa. You were with me. Yeah, 2004, I think. Mm -hmm. 2004, it was Iowa. It was the day after the election, not the election, the uh, Iowa caucus. Yes. Okay. So it's 2004, and... Everybody is in this airport. I mean, yeah. you look around and it's like, hey, that's Tom Brokaw standing in line. I mean, everybody was at this airport. It's, a, it's one of those weird things about elections, particularly in the primaries, that all the big media from New York and L.A. and everywhere piles into Des Moines or some city in Iowa or New Hampshire. And then they're all together in these really weird circumstances. And you see these people that you recognize all over the place at like Dunkin' Donuts. And, yeah. and it's just a strange world yeah, to be it's in. It's weird. So we were in the airport and we're all standing in line. And in front of me is Al Franken. Now, this is before I'm on TV. So he has no idea who I am at all. And um, Stu and I are standing there. And I'm just like, oh, freaking Al Franken, man. What a loser. And, and this is the time he's he's hosting like the the left wing talk show, right? Yeah, is it about yeah. that time? Yeah, he was on uh, Air America. Air America. Yeah. yeah. So he's standing in line in front of us, and I actually have a picture. We have to look at glenbeck.com. I have a picture of this because I knew nobody would believe me. And so when it happened, I asked him, uh, "Mr. Franken, can I get a picture with you?" And he's like, "Oh, sure." Sure. Uh, Okay, so I have some verification that we were at least in the same airport together. We're standing in line, and he says to the person behind the counter, now, you have to understand, hundreds of people are in line. I don't know if I've ever been in an airport as crowded as that was that day. Hundreds of people in line, and there is a snow or something happened, and all these flights are being bumped. 
He says, I have got to get out of here. And she said, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Franken. There's nothing I can do. And this is a quote. Surely there has to be some mechanism for people like me. <laughs> so it was said in a way that was about 10 times as snotty and oh condescending as you just said yeah. it to. Uh, oh, it was so it was just it it just it was just such verification of what these people think about themselves and about the rest of the riffraff around me. Yeah, it was 10 times as offensive as do you know who I am? Oh, like, yeah, it was that type of. Oh, yeah. Like, surely there is a much nicer plane in a hangar someplace <laughs> where people like me go, I'm not part of these people. <laughs> Redirect me to the celebrity airport is what he was asking, it seemed. Where is the important person line? <laughs> it is crazy. And he was, uh, you know, he had done Saturday Night Live and he was doing the left wing talk show, but he was not a senator at that point. No. Now he actually has like those benefits he wanted probably f from back in the day. Now he does get that recognition. Now he does get that praise. You know, I love the Sad. way that, I love the way that everybody said, you know, oh, my gosh. You know, he asked for the Senate investigation, which means nothing, really means nothing. Nobody, literally, <laughs> nobody ever has anything wrong with their Senate investigation. There's like, I can't even remember what it is, like 300 investigations to zero. 300 investigations, good. <laughs> is that true? Jeez. Zero. Bad. Oh, yeah. It's like literally nobody gets in trouble with a Senate investigation, Okay. Uh, you know, everybody's saying, yes, that's right. He needs a center of it. However, Roy Moore. What did you guys make of news flash that uh, Al Franken's a douchebag? Um, <laughs> it was I had a hard time getting my arms around it. I have not been that surprised since Richard Simmons came out of the closet. Oh, right. uh, I, <laughs> really? Whoa. And did he? Uh, he did? Well, if he comes out of the closet, <laughs> okay. I'll be just as surprised. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he has. Uh, <laughs> what are you insinuating? <laughs>